and you're about to see a duo interpretation by Joey Ghirardelli and Colin Bradham, uh, who did extremely well this year. Uh, they're the district champions. Uh, they were fourth place at state. They will be performing this piece in Fort Lauderdale uh, in a couple of weeks. So we're really excited for you to see it. Joey and Colin, duo interpretation. Over the past 100 years, the scientific communities made many great strides towards understanding mental illnesses, what causes them, and how they can be treated. But this progress is much more incomplete and recent than many assume. Up until the 1980s, afflictions such as autism or Down syndrome were explained by unscientific or trivial causes such as poor parenting or radiation from TVs. And even today, we don't live in a perfect world. Oftentimes, people who are suffering avoid getting the treatment that they need due to a fear of being ostracized. And this lack of treatment has a severe and dangerous repercussion. According to, according to the MacArthur Foundation, patients who receive treatment for mental illness are 50% less likely to commit a violent act than those who do not. Teaching that we must never be too complacent towards our understanding of the mentally ill of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. <clears throat> Lenny, Lenny, uh, for God's sakes, don't drink so much. Here, you try some, George. You take a good big drink. You drink out of a gutter if you was thirsty. Uh, hey, George. Yeah? Where are we going, George? So you forget that already, did you? Jesus Christ. Well, I, I tried to remember this time, George. Honest to God, I did. I, I remember the rabbits, though. To hell with the rabbits. All you can ever remember is those damn rabbits. You look. I'm going to tell this to you one more time, so listen good. The farm we're going to, it's about a quarter mile down the road. We're going to go there and woke. You got that? Oh, I sure, George, I got it. And don't do no funny business like you done in weed, either. Like that done in weed? So you forget that, too. <laughs> they kicked us out of weed. Oh, I remember now, George. Well, when we ran. But, but they didn't catch us. I remember, George, those, those girls came by, and, and, and you said, Hey, what you got in that pocket? Anything in my pocket, George. I know it's not in your pocket no more. You got it in your hand. No, it's just a mouse, George. A mouse? A live mouse. No, George. It's a dead mouse. What you want with a dead mouse anyways? Well, well, I thought that I could pet it while we were walking along. All right. Give it to you. Give you what? You know what I want? I want that goddamn mess. I don't know why I can't keep it, Georgie. Ain't nobody else's mouse. I didn't steal it or nothing. I just found her on the side of the road. That's all. Look, Lenny, I ain't taking it away from meanness. You broke it. Well, I was keeping it in my pocket, George, and when, when I would go to pay, it, it would bite my fingers. So I squeezed its head a little bit to get it to stop, but and then it was dead. <laughs> oh, when we get the rabbit, George? They ain't so little. Tell me, George. Tell you what? <laughs> you, you know what? About the rabbits. Well, you see, guys like us were the loneliest guys in the world. They got no place to call home, they got no family. All we do is go to a ranch, build up a stake, go into town, blow that stake, then sooner or later we're, we're hopping on over the next ranch. But with us ain't like that, you see. Because we're, we're not, we're not us, George. Because I got you to look after me, and you got me to look after you. Now go on, George, do the rest of it. You gotta pipe out, do it yourself. No, 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 but I, I forget some of the bits, George. You do it. Okay, so someday we're gonna pick up Jack, get him on the place with, with some cows and some pigs and some chickens and rabbits. But uh, but to hell with that, okay? Now I uh, I want you to look around this place. You can remember, can't you? Oh, I sure, George. I can remember. 
Now, if you get in any trouble, uh, I want you to come back here and hide in the brush. Hide in the brush. Hide in the brush and wait for George. Hide in the brush and, and wait for George. But you ain't gonna get in no trouble, are you? Because then you won't get to tend no rabbits. I ain't gonna get in no trouble, George. I'm the guy. Oh, George? Yeah? Let's get different color rabbits, too, George. Sure, red, blue, green rabbits. Oh, oh and long hair rabbits, too, George, like the ones I saw at the fair down in Sacramento. Okay, now shut up. And what's your name? My name's uh, George, George Milton. And what about you, sir? Oh, that's just Lenny Small. And where are you boys from? Up around Reed. Him too? Yeah, yeah, him too. He's not much of a talker now, is he? No. But, but, but he's strong as a bull. Best, best vocal you'll ever get. All right, then. You boys can join Curly's scene there, picking up barley down by the threshing machines. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. The candy. Who's he? Oh, that? Where's the boss's son, Curly? Now, Curly's a little guy, and he's like a lot of little guys. Always trying to start fights with big guys. You know little guys like that, don't you? Always. Scrap! Yeah, sure. Sounds like a son of a bitch to me. I don't like no mean little guys. Or now, Curly's wife was up in the boss's house, and uh, personally, I think ever since he got married to her two weeks ago, he's gotten a lot cocky. Look, he's trying to show off for her. <laughs> Wait until you see Curly's wife. Purdy? Purdy! <laughs> what? She's got the eye. She's got the eye. Been married two weeks and she's got the eye. Jesus Christ, maybe that's why Cody's pants is full of hands. Well, now you won't tell Kurt that I said to you now, will you? I'll have to tell Lenny to leave his wife be, but oh man, hell. Well, now, now, George says I wasn't supposed to talk to you or look at you or think about you or nothing. Oh, well, this? This is just my pup. My, um, my little pup. Well, well, he meant like I was gonna bite me, so I, I didn't think I was gonna smack him. And then he was dead. No, 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 I ain't not. George says I ain't. I just like to pet soft things, that's all. Rabbits and, and mice sometimes, if I can't get nothing better. Well, that's nice, hey? That's really nice. Hey! You can get me in trouble, like. Do such a word. Don't. Don't you do that. Don't. You don't. Yeah, I done another bad thing. Hey Lenny, you in there? I hide in the brush and wait for George. Hide in the brush and wait for George. What's wrong with her? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Done it. Should have known he was gonna do something like this. I mean, in the back of my head, yes, I kind of did.
They're gonna kill him. Want it to be me. Oh, oh George, George, here I am, George. I did exactly what you said, George. Hide the brush and <laughs> wait for George. Uh, I uh, did another bad thing, George. Yeah. Well, go on. Ain't you gonna give me no more help? No. Uh, Lenny, the air's fine. Why don't you kneel down with me for a bit? Tell me how it's gonna be, George. We're gonna get a own little place with some cows and some pigs and some chickens. And the rabbits. And the rabbits. And I get to tend to the rabbits, George. You get to tend to the rabbits. And we're gonna live off the fat land. Yes, look. Keep looking ahead. You can, you can almost see it from here. Where are we gonna go, George? Gonna do it soon. Me and you. <laughs> <laughs>